Hello, Internet, it is me, the E-Man, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So where we left off, we got some nice bonding time with Yuri, uh, which I, I don't really know, kind of take what you will from it. Um, and now we get to decide who to show our poem to first. Okay, well, definitely uh, not Netsuki, honestly. I know that's, like, the one that we have prior, prior experience with, and she's a super preppy, popular girl, but no. So it's one of the other three. I guess I'll go with Yuri, because that's who we had the bonding experience with. But I could also do it with Minika. I don't know. Let's try Yuri. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. See, that's that's reasoning. I'm thinking with my brain and not with my, uh, my other thing that does male thinking. I can trust her opinion to be fair. She hates it. Ellipses of mild surprise. As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes light light lighten oh okay couldn't read that for exceptional eh what was that ah did did i say that out loud yuri first covers her mouth then ends up covering her whole face i uh, dying of embarrassment ellipses uh he's going to hate me um you really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... Well, I I guess you're right. <laughs> what am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. <gasps> so, uh, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imaginary and metaphors indicates you're, you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Because I just picked 20 words at random, honestly. Wow, that, that's a huge compliment coming from you. This is actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly, then looks at my poem again. Confused ellipses of unbelieving? Well, I, I know that. I, I just meant, um... Yuri t trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in my poem, as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah... Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in these writings is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and experience are weakened. So basically what I'm saying is your poem is crap, Joshua, and I never want to see you again. Harumph. <clears throat> Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Also, poem lessons with Yuri, everybody. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem, not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's, it's fine. <clears throat> I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Oh, please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Yeah, because no one, no one listens to her, I guess. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Am I right? Oh, I can't. Oh. Jesus. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Ghost under the... Oh, wait. I gotta get a good good reading voice for this. <clears throat> Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The, the last remaining s s street light to have withstood the, l the test of time. The last 
yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe calm, breathing air of the purest but living in the past, or of the present but living in the past. The light tickles. I... What is that? Hick hicker? Snicker? What is that supposed to be? It, it, what letter is that? Man, I... Man, I can't read. <laughs> Damn it. I... Something back. Flicker? Snicker? No, it can't be Snicker. That'd be an L. Fl oh, Flicker. It's an F and an L. God, it kind of looked like an H, and I was like, Hicker isn't a word. Yeah, I flicker back. All right, cool. Click outside poem area to continue. Ellipses of concern. I... I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to... Oh, does it actually time how long it reads? Oh, that's... Oh, come on. Oh, come on. This game is... Uh, I'm going to suck at this game. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. That's actually... That, I mean, that is true. I know how to read script. I can even write script, but I don't read it very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Like you is what you should have said, but you missed it. Eh? That's... That's a relief. Also, I, you know, just like the poem in general, the words were pretty. Even though it's short, it's really descriptive. I, I mean, I guess you could say that. I don't know how to appreciate poetry. I'm an uncultured swine. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not, not at all. Uh, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Normally I write horrifying death fan fiction. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? That just sounds like a weird question. Uh-huh. That is my phone ringing. So, uh, I, I will just, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I was on the phone for like an hour. So sorry if the voices aren't one-to-one uh, -one in the middle of a conversation. But uh, let us continue. Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Joshua. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, uh, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story, or point, paint a picture, not point. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of their past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it in that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Eh? Uh, it's nothing, really. Yours was impressive, too, so... Nah! Pfft. That trash, you don't even know! If anything, I could probably learn a thing or two from you. You, you think so? Yeah, of course! Ah, you know, I was really nervous about doing all this, um, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Joshua. Ah, oh, that was that. Jesus, he's going to do my... Yeah, that was a bit heavy. Okay, thank you. I'm glad that's good. Me too! Yeah, cool. Who should I show my poem to next? Duh, okay, it's either... Natsuki, or... I'm gonna do... Sayori, I think. And then Natsuki. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll do Natsuki next. Yeah, fine. Surprised, Ellipses? Uh... Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't invoke any emotions. So, basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Do you want to get smacked? Because I'll beat the ever-living garbage out of you. I'll, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm good. <sighs> well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap, horses can race. I mean, honestly, 
A lot of things can do all those things, but whatever. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can... Didn't she already use eagles? Yes, she did. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. <laughs> People can try, but that's about it. Because in the end, they will always fail. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. Oh, what you gonna do now? Proved you wrong. Take that. What? Just be honest. I am. This is my honest face. You know. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Yuri told me that. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly! I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem! Seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Y yeah, I, I understand. <laughs> but the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. Mm-hmm. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro, like me. Oh, look at my, look at this smug face. Look at this Oh, we got a badass over here. I'm glad you learned something. Oh, dude, you jerk, come on. I know you're definitely, you've got to be overcompensating for some serious inner insecurities, but Jesus. <laughs> Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? <laughs> yeah, gu guess not. Honestly, I expected you to be completely stupid, but um, yeah, this is nice. I decided to humor her <laughs> with that last comment. Yeah, this is, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Small victories for small people. Am I right? Because she's short. Anyway. Who should I... Oh, definitely Sayori. Oh, pleasantly surprised, Ellipses. This is a good poem, Joshua. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. Of course. It, it's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who would be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. But that's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy that you wrote one. I just knocked a paint. Uh, God dang, I gotta stop hitting my wall. I, do I just, I can't not do her voice. I can't not do her voice and do like the nervous hand movements at the same time. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. You know, besides that minor detail, <clears throat> er, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Joshua. Deep down, you're not selfish at all. You know, trying new things like this for other people. Yeah, that's the reason you want to do stuff with- that, that's the reason you want to join clubs for other people, and not because you have a legitimate interest in it. That's something that only really good people do! I- I guess I understand her point, I guess. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. <laughs> Which is to SMASH! <laughs> then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. If I'm not having fun, I'm taking you down with me. Yay! Now, you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. 
Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleep, the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, like the sweet embrace of a cold death in a shallow grave. But I am not mad. I want breakfast. <laughs> I didn't see the last line until I read it. I want breakfast. But if it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. I like it. Sorry. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until this morning to write this? No! I... But just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. <laughs> so this is why yes or no questions are not allowed in courts of law. Because it's like, sir, did you stop beating your wife? Well, if you answer yes, then it implies you did. If you answer no, it implies you still do. There's no way to say, well, I'm not beating my wife. But the best answer to that question is, sir, have you stopped beating your wife? Ah, oh, well, you're not. Yeah, just a little bit. You know, on Wednesdays, I, I, you know, on Wednesdays, I get the lead pipe out, just smash the back of her brains in. You know, that really, that really teaches her a lesson, uh, not to, not to drop, not to, I, I don't know, not to drop my, my hot, my hot plate, my hot plate of, of, of tiramisu. I don't know where I'm going with this. You, you can't, you can't make spousal abuse funny. Anyway, I, I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? Ah, it sounds just like you. You know. Annoying! <laughs> really? Yeah. Especially that last line about the breakfast. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I don't want to see her cranky. I bet when she gets cranky, she's just like Satan himself. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monika's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time... Oh, wait, this is her. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Who should I show my poem to next? Well, I have so much choice. Hey everyone, hate to cut the video off here, but this one got away from me a little bit and ended up being over 40 minutes long, and I know longer videos don't tend to do as well, so I decided to cut this one right down the middle into two more viewer-friendly chunks. But don't worry, the fun doesn't stop now, I'm uploading both parts today, so you can hop right over to the second part and watch it right away. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part whenever you decide to click on it. Goodbye! Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, you can click one of the links currently up on the screen. And if you want to see my newest content as soon as it's released, you can always subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next episode real soon. Goodbye.